Hey everyone, this is Mr. Dunkel. I want to show you just a quick reminder of how you can do a PowerPoint online and share it with someone. So I'm in my Office 365 account. I'm going to go up here to our apps manager in the upper left and choose PowerPoint online. And once it shows up, you can you know, choose a template if you like. I'm going to choose gallery here. And so once it loads, what you're going to notice is you're going to have a button right around here that's going to say share. And that's all you're going to need to click on to be able to share it with your partner. So as soon as we get this loaded, oh, let's try again. Come on, PowerPoint. And here we go. All right. So it's letting us in. And notice I have the share button up here. So I can click on share. And then you simply need to know the address, the mail address of whoever you're sending it to. So if I were a student, it would be chris.dunkel at students, remember students with an S, dot maryville-schools.org. Now, in your case, whoever you're sending it to as a student is going to be their username. So 20 blah 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 at students.maryville-schools.org. And you have an option here whether you want them to be able to edit it or not. So I'd probably recommend you leave that as can edit. And then you just click share and they will have access to the file. Now, something else I need to tell you that once you are finished, do not share the document with me. OK, so make sure you don't do that to turn it in. What you'll need to do is go to OneDrive whenever you're done. Find your file. We'll just say, for instance, this uh, Appalachian modification file. And if you will click on these little ellipses, you'll see a download button and you're going to download it. You'll notice it's downloaded it over here in the bottom left. If I click on this little arrow next to it, I can actually go to show and folder. Here's my file right there. And all I need to do, I could copy and move that to a different folder if I want to. But this is the file then that I can go to Blackboard and browse my computer and upload it. So it's going to, if you're in Google Chrome, it's going to automatically put it in your downloads folder. But again, you might want to copy it and go to, you know, your home directory and save it, you know, save it somewhere in there. But that's all there is to it. So uh, if you want to go that route and sharing your file with each other, that'd be a great way to do it. If you have any questions, just let me know. Thank you.